Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to do a little different video today on exposing some issues that I see in the automotive industry. Um, not necessarily with mechanics, but with those buy here, pay here places or them little mom and pop dealerships. I'm not saying every single one, but there are some bad apples out there. So this is a top of the line Hyundai, you know, one of their good trims. Um, it's a little bit older. It's a few years older. But it was bought at a used buy here, pay here place. A, fr a good friend of mine's family member bought it. And it drove for a little while. Then it started giving problems. And it ended up being here. And they asked me to take a look at it. So I'm over here. I'm looking at it. And I'm like, okay, it drives nice. It's good. Feel a little bit of bogging. Let me hook my scanner up and see what's going on. So I hook the scanner up and there's codes for the catalytic converters. And on this car, there happens to be four. So it's a very expensive job. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the ignition. And if you can see, I've got a lot of things apart. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the ignition and you tell me if you see anything wrong. Okay, here we go. All right, so we got the cycle and it looks like a normal car, right? See everything normal. Everything looks good. You probably don't see what's going on. A lot of you aren't. I'm going to shut it off so you can see again. Now you see it's very dim back there. Right? Extremely dim. Now you see it lights up. All your warning lights come on. They start to go off. And we can start the car. Like normal, right? Still don't notice anything different. Let me shut it down now. So the issue with this is we are not seeing the check engine light illuminate. And my scanner tells me that there's codes. So automatically you're going to fail emissions if that light don't cycle. So I decided to take a look at the fuses. Fuses were fine. Then I'm like, let me just pull a couple pieces of trim and see, you know, what we got going on. Sure enough, I knew. There were some screws missing behind the trim. Some of them were stripped out. Somebody had been in here. So if I pull this piece off, get that piece out of there, you can see you got the gauge cluster here. Now, most of your newer gauge clusters are uh, LED, like this one. It has a little display on it and everything. But you will find most of the time some of the bulbs, like the SRS, the CEL, little engine light, the airbag light, those are still incandescent bulbs. And sure enough, in this one, there's an incandescent bulb slot, two of them. So I'm going to pull this thing out and see. I have a hunch that the dealership removed the check engine light bulb and sold the car to them like this because it was sold out of state. It didn't need emissions or anything because the person didn't live in that state. And here we are. So I'm going to get it out and see if, see if we're missing a bulb and we'll see what happens. All right, we got the dash apart. And like I said, you have these little tiny bulbs like this. And that one doesn't look blown. You know, it looks good, but it looked funny. To me, it looked funny like it was a weird bulb. Now remember, I said every car is going to have a check engine light when you push the ignition on or else somebody's tampered with it. Watch what happens. We got the key. Look at that. I took the oil pressure light out and look what lit up the check engine light that was not lit before. Now if I turn it off, you cannot see that through the gauges because it's tinted and most cars are tinted to keep the glare down. Again, I replace the bulb and there's a check engine light. Now we can actually get this person's car repaired and on the road. So what's the lesson that we learned today? If you go to a used car dealership that's not a certified pre-owned, bring a mechanic friend or pay the mechanic what he's worth to go and look at the car. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.